Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Realme GT2 Pro. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The cheapest I found this one for is 600 bucks. I repeat, 600 bucks. Now on a side note, if you go to AliExpress, you might find it a little bit cheaper. But if you wanna buy it from a reputable website that I recommend, go to Giztop, buy it for 600 bucks. Now at 600 bucks, this might be one of the best deals in Android phones of the year. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. Now this one comes in white, green, black, and blue. For the display, you got a 6.7 inch Quad HD AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1440 by 3216. Now that's 509 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass Victus on the front, an aluminum frame. You got a bio-based polymer back, which feels like paper. You got HDR 10+, up to 1400 nits brightness, and a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 with the Adreno 730 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now you got eight or 12 gigs of RAM, 128, 256, or 512 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 12, with Realme UI 3.0 skin on top. Now you got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 65 watt fast charging. Now Realme claims you can charge your phone from zero to 100% in 33 minutes. Now you got dual stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos. For the cameras on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle, 50 megapixel ultra wide, and a three megapixel microscope sensor. On the front, you got a 32 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you got Bluetooth 5.2, NFC, always on display, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, and thought protection. We'll talk more about that in a minute. All right, so all of that for 600 bucks, what's missing? No IP rating, so the phone is not water resistant, no expandable memory, no IR blaster, no wireless charge, and no headphone jack, that shit's whack, hashtag bars. All right, here we go, Realme GT2 Pro. Let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. White shoes, I love my calm down. Okay, here we go. Nice clean white box, y'all know I like that, giggity. Realme GT2 Pro. Okay, let's see, <laughs> a little drop test. You got a 2K Super Reality Display, Paper Tech Master Design, Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 Platform, 50 megapixel, 50 megapixel dual primary cameras. Now even the box has that paper feel to it. You're gonna like this one, okay? Okay, here we go. Now inside the box, let's see what you get. Here's your SIM ejection tool. Got your usual books and shit, plug them and file them. Okay, that's it on that. This is gonna be your device. Now check this out. This is gonna be your, now I'm gonna leave this because I'm gonna give this phone away. This is gonna be USB Type-C to USB-A charging cable. You get a case, okay, nothing fancy, but still a case. And you get your 65 watt fast charging brick in the box. All right, Samsung, Apple, Google, this is where the charger belongs in the box. All right, shoes, inspect that for quality. Now, for the device, let me peel this stick off the back. Rah. Bang. Check this one out. Now, this is um, inspired by a designer. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Just Google it, <laughs> okay? I'm not even going to mess up his name. But the back of this phone, this phone has a unique feel to it. Now, everybody's saying it kind of feels like paper. This is the bio-based polymer. It kind of feels like plastic, okay? That's the easiest way to describe it. It just feels like plastic, but it feels paper thin. I guess that's why people saying it feels like paper. It's just super lightweight. So this phone is gonna have a lightweight feel to it, okay? Now, I was saying for 600 bucks, this might be the deal of the year. The only phone that I would compare this to right now is a Google Pixel 6. Now with the Pixel 6, you do have water resistance, you do have wireless charge, and arguably one of the best Android cameras, but with the Realme GT2 Pro, you got a Quad HD display, 
got an always on display that's customizable. You got face unlock. Okay, and you just got more features to play with, including a charger in the box with faster battery charging. Okay, so now if I had to choose, I would probably go with the Pixel 6 only because you're getting the latest version of Android, you know, and you're getting the uh, top of the line camera. But this is no slouch either. All right, this is a great deal for 600 bucks. All right, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. Matter of fact, let me do the smell test on this one. Mmm! Mmm! Definitely smells like savings. All right, you're really not going to find a quad HD display on an Android phone for 600 bucks. All right, this is kind of crazy. All right, so I'm going to pause the video. We'll set everything up. Then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let's talk about the build quality. Now, y'all know I got to say it. Feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. At first, I didn't know how I was going to feel about this, you know, paper, plastic kind of back, but it grew on me immediately, okay? First of all, it's definitely more durable than having a glass back, and it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like a cheap plastic. It feels like a recycled plastic material, but it just works, all right? It works with this phone. It gives it a paper, a paper light, <laughs> paper light feel to it. No issues with that, okay? Now, there's no IP rating, so it's not water resistant, but you got Gorilla Guys Victus on the front, got an aluminum frame, and the, we'll call this the paper feel on the back. All right? We'll call this the paper back. All right, this is the paper back phone. Now, on one side, here's your power button, nice and low, okay? Not all high up, like on a Pixel, nice and low. And separation, so you got volume on the left, power on the right. So you're never gonna confuse the buttons. On the top, I wish it would've had an IR blaster. Okay, I think all Chinese phones, IR blasters should be mandatory, but it is what it is. Okay, you just got a little sensor on the top. There's your triple camera setup. Okay, you got dual LED flash. There's one of your speaker grills on the bottom. <laughs> little drop test. Another speaker grill in the grill. Okay. USB Type-C charging slot, and there's your SIM tray. Again, the build quality in this phone, you're gonna like it. If you're looking for a thin, lightweight feeling phone, this is it. Next, on the front, you see you do have always on display, fully customizable, and Realme makes a great always on display. Okay, you see how you got all your colorful notifications. I like that. A Couple of different ways you can open up the phone. You can swipe up, put in your pattern and your pin. You got face unlock. All right, let me see if I can do it from behind the camera. Bang, look how fast that is. Bang, one more, bang. Super fast face unlock, and you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly. Now you do have some features. You see if I unlock it and I keep holding the fingerprint sensor, I could go to different apps. So if I wanna just keep holding it and go straight to the Instagram, bang, straight to the gram. I'll do that again, okay? Unlock it, keep holding it. Now if I wanna go straight to YouTube, let go on YouTube, okay? Pretty dope. Now, you do have a big 6.7 inch Quad HD AMOLED display. All right, this is LTPO. Beautiful display. Now, one more side note. If you go to Giztop, I think they sell in a Chinese version. This is the global ROM. Okay, so you're gonna get your Google feed in English. <laughs> Y'all know that's a big deal for me. Got your side view windows. Matter of fact, let's just skim through the settings real quick. Now, this is Android 12, so you can change everything around. Matter of fact, there's your Android 12 widgets. Y'all know I love the Android 12 Google widget. <laughs> like the kind of music I'll be listening to, bro, what are you doing? All right, you got your Android 12 YouTube music, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Android 12 calendar widgets, okay, got my briefing. Everything is on deck, okay? Now, with Android 12, you can change all the accented colors. Let's go to settings, let's go through this real quick. Connections and sharing, you got your VPN, you do have NFC. Okay, you got private DNS, Android Auto, you got PC Connect, and Screencast. All right, so all your scumbag features on deck. Personalization. Now, this is why I like this more than the Pixel. With the Pixel, you can't customize your always on display. I like to have my always on display looking different than everybody else's. Okay, so first you got your wallpapers. You got a bunch of static ones. You got a bunch of different live ones. Now, my favorite live wallpaper from my uh, Realme is this blue one. For me, when I think of Realme phones, I think of this blue and red design. That's why I'm going to leave it on that one. But you got static or live wallpapers. Bunch of different always on displays to choose from. 
Okay? You can change the icons, the shape. Okay? You got your quick settings. Okay? You can change them from square, squircle. I squircle. You know what a squircle is? <laughs> That's a square and a skirt circle. That's a squircle. That's what they call it. You can change the colors. Okay? Now, I don't know why I have it. I don't know how, why I have it on this yellowish color. We'll leave it on that. You change your fonts and the size. Fingerprint animation. Bunch of different ones to choose from. I like this big sparkly one. Okay. And you got your edge lighting. Only a few different colors to choose from. Let's go ahead and leave it on blue. Okay. So that's it for that. Let's go to uh, home screen. Anything we need to see here. Uh, raise to awake. Leave that on. Raise to awake. You want to leave that on if you use a face unlock. So this way when you pick up your phone, all you got to do is look at it. Bong. It'll open right up. All right, so system navigation, you can have your three Android buttons or your swipe gestures. Let's go to home screen and lock screen. Okay, we already did that. <laughs> Let's go to uh, display and brightness. Okay, quad HD panel. Okay, let's go to, matter of fact, image enhancer. Leave that on. Video color enhancer. Leave that on. Video motion enhancer. Leave all of that on. Okay, bright HDR video. Why not? Auto rotate, screen time, screen time. Okay, check this out. Screen resolution, WQHD on a $600 phone quad HD display. This is crazy. All right, this is crazy. And you also got a variable refresh rate. You can have it go down from one hertz, all right, that's minimum hertz, all the way up to 120 hertz. All right, that's a lot of hertz. <laughs> yeah, I know. Minimum hertz. You got minimum hertz. But y'all remember back in the days, if you put it on quad HD display, you, you couldn't choose your, your hertz. Well, now you can choose from quad HD display and high refresh rate. Okay, shout out to Samsung. They was the first one to, to not have that feature. And you know we had to roast them for that one. It is what it is. Okay, sound and vibration. Dual stereo speakers. Okay, I'll do a sound test in a minute. One thing I will say to speakers, they're not the best sounding. They're not the most rich and vibrant sounding speakers. But it's still dual speakers. I'll take I'll take dual speakers with the top speaker not sounding that great, as opposed to one bottom firing speaker any day of the week and all day on Sunday. Let's see our uh, passwords and security. Anything we need to see there? Okay, face unlock, fingerprint sensor. Okay, nothing to really go through with that. Uh, let's see privacy. Okay, nothing to really go. Oh, okay. Here, check this out. System cloner. That's your thought protection. I'm going to show you how that works. It works exactly the same on Xiaomi phones. Now, I keep forgetting that Realme phones have thought protection. I should have showed that in my Oppo Find uh, X Find Pro. Oppo Find X5 Pro video. I forgot to show that feature, but it does have it on that too. Okay, let's see. Uh, safety and emergency. Nothing to see there. Battery. Okay, 5,000 milliamps. 65 watt fast charging. Okay. Better than Google. Why not? Let's see, apps, location, nothing to see there, special features. You got your flexible windows. Okay, that's the floating windows. I'll show you that when I do the multitasking, quick launch. That's what I was just showing you just now with the fingerprint sensor. You could change that to whatever apps you want. These are the apps that I use the most. So that's the ones I got it set to. You got your smart sidebar. That's this right here. Okay, so I got screenshot, screen record. Got a few of my favorite apps on deck. You got kid space and simple mode. Okay, and let's see anything else. Uh, digital well-being, monitor your scumbag activities, and let's see about device. Nothing to really see there. You already know. Let's see. Uh, let's see. This is 256 gig version. Okay, 12 gigs of RAM, 256, 600 bucks. That price is right. Okay, let's go to Realme Lab. Now you do have dual uh, dual mode audio. You got a heart rate monitor. Okay, let's check this out real quick. Now if I'm in the if I'm in the 80s. Uh, whoa, yo, why is it so hot? I'm back here. Okay, hold on. Let me calm down. Let me, let me breathe normally. Okay. Okay, now it's a little bit high right now, but this is a high-stress environment. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm shooting a video. That's a high... So that's For me, that's considered a high-stress environment. Now, if I stopped talking and did it again, it would be uh, <laughs> regular in the 80s. Okay, let me just get a little wipe down for the dramatic effect. Bong, that's pretty much it. All right, so that's it for the settings, okay? Again, big, beautiful, 6.7-inch quad HD display. I got to keep throwing that out there. Let's uh, test the uh, web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Okay, Snapdragon 8, Generation 1. 
Bang, there it is. Now, this is the full website, 120 hertz refresh rate. Look how smooth that is. Now, I, I just can't stress how light this phone feels. I like big, heavy Android phones. This is a nice, thin, lightweight phone. Okay, so if you're one of those people that like to have your phone in your front face, uh, in your front pocket, while you're at work, you're wearing a three-piece suit, and you got your phone in that front pocket, or you're wearing medical scrubs, and you don't want a big phone weighing down your pants, weighing down your scrub shirt, you're going to like this one. You're going to like this one. All right, so let's do a little split-screen multitasking. Now, first, I'll show you the floating window. So you can have this as a floating window. So now I can open up Facebook. I could be chilling, okay, with the floating window. Now, from the floating window, I can also change the size. I can move it around. I can exit out of it. I can put it to the side just like that. Bang. Now, let's open this up full screen. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> full screen. I forgot how to do that. Let's do the full screen. Oh, there it is. All right, full screen. Bang, full screen. Now, let's go back to Apple. All right, there it is. Now, let's do a little split screen multitasking. Okay, so we do YouTube on the bottom. Okay, let's go home. Okay, so we got YouTube on the bottom. Let's get a little, let's see, um, what is that on the bottom? Got a video and Apple on the top. Okay, so while I'm checking out the new iPhones, I could be watching the full YouTube video on the bottom. This is what you call multitasking. Now we can resize that if we want, or we can exit out of that. Okay, now of course you got your picture in picture. Okay, or we can go exit out, bang, just like that. All right, so web browsing speeds, perfect. Okay, split screen multitasking, floating windows, perfect. Now, let's check the dual speakers. All right, so I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. Sound test. That's a sound test, baby. That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. How's the sound on that shit? God damn it, holla. No issues at all. Just not the most bass in the speaker. I'm going to cover up the bottom. Hit the top. How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound on it? Not bad at all. Definitely loud. It could use a little bit more bass, but I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. They sound pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. For 600 bucks, the speakers sound okay. Now, here's one of my favorite features of this phone, the display. All right, this display is truly beautiful. Watch this. Basically bezel-less. Excellent viewing angles. Nice amount of nits with the brightness. This is what it's gonna look like when you're watching your videos. Beautiful. Quad HD panel. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do a little bit of gaming. I shoes. I need you to scoot, scoot. We got Asphalt 9 queued up. Here we go. Like I said, the speakers are loud, though. Don't get me wrong. They're definitely loud. Just missing a little bit of richness. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, wrapped. Okay, this time I'm this time I'm gonna take the upper roads. Okay, you try to wrap me to the side. There it is. Let's go. 360 through the window. We out. 
Let me see if I can slide off. Woo! No lag at all. Watch the 360 bond. There it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, so gaming on your Realme GT2 Pro, no issues at all. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. Now you got a bunch of different shooting modes. You got night mode, but when you're in night mode, you also have pro mode. So you got all your pro settings while you're in night mode. You can do wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom. You got street mode, you got video, and from video you got 4K at 60 frames per second, you got 8K at 24 frames per second, or 1080p at 60 frames per second. Now from video, you can do wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom. Okay, so you got your regular photos, wide angle, all the way up to, check this out, 20 times zoom, okay? Now, <laughs> you can see like, this kind of has the microscope camera. Look at the cat hairs on the table. Pretty dope. You got portrait mode, you can change your bokeh effect. You got 50 megapixels, and you got more. So you got expert mode, you got panorama, you got movie, slow motion, time lapse, dual video, so you and the subject at the same time, microscope mode, right? Now this is one of the features that I was mad that they took away on my uh, Oppo. Look at this, I love this, okay? I love microscope mode. Hold up, you get a good look, ah! Disgusting. Okay, now you could get even more magnification. Watch this. Bro, look at that. Look at that. You see that hair? This is crazy. You can have a lot of fun with microscope mode. Okay. Now you also have, you got 150 degrees. You got tech scanner. You got starry mode, tilt shift, and 3D photos. All right. So take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. And again, play with the microscope camera. If you have it, you're going to love it. Thank you. 
All right, so now let's do the RDA test. Regular daily activities. Now you're buying a phone for 600 bucks. Let's see how it works in the real world. Now there's no wireless charge on this, but you do have always on display. So if you got your phone on the table, you can see the time, the date, your battery percentage, and all your notifications. Now when you're ready to open the phone, you don't have to press any buttons. Just lift it up and look at it. Bang, just like that, right to your home screen. But if you want to, you can use your on-screen fingerprint sensor. Watch this. And I can go straight to one of my apps. So I want to go straight to your uh, Gmail, right to Gmail. Okay, now speaking of Gmail, let's do a little bit of work. Okay, so now we're in Gmail. First thing I want to do some work. Let's uh, check some emails. Okay. I want to reply to this email. Full size, Google keyboard. Let's do um, no thanks. Hit send, bang, okay? Keep it moving. Let's see, Disney Plus. Okay, Moon Knight, getting ready to drop, okay? Some new sneakers from StockX. Oh, the LeBron James South Beach Nines, I need those. I need those. All right, so let's go ahead and screenshot that. Bang, now if I want to, I could just use, use a screenshot like this. Screenshot, keep that on deck. All right, so that's my work segment of the day. Now I'm getting ready to go outside, check the weather. Okay, it's raining. Okay, let me pack my umbrella. Exit out of that. Now, let's do a little social media savagery. Take it over to Facebook. Okay, now shout out to Amaya. Look at Amaya, all grown up. All right, let me go ahead and love that. All grown up doing the thing. Matter of fact, go ahead and screenshot that too. Okay, add that to my personal collection. Let's see, we got some monster products. Okay, now, as I'm scrolling through uh, Facebook, watch this. All right, now say I want to just save this page. We'll just open this up as a floating window, okay? And then we'll take it to Twitter. So now let's go to my tweets real quick. Go to my mentions. I can leave this right here, or I could just swipe that and leave that to the side. So we got Facebook. Okay, so now let's go to uh, Twitter. Okay, now shout out to Michael Fisher. <laughs> when did YouTubers start saying rocking the phone? I've been saying rocking the phone since phones was able to be rocked like right? <laughs> i said i've been rocking my i don't know i don't know people that wear phones or use phones i rock my shit okay i don't i don't i don't wear my clothes i rock my clothes i right? shout to michael fish i'm 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 a, i'm gonna I'm 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 straighten your ass out later <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding let's see um i think mike did hit me back though let's see uh mike said flaws is always immune from any criticism <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Michael Fisher. That's my guy, though. Captain Two Phones. All right, somebody got the orange Galaxy S22 Ultra. Okay, we're not calling that red. We're calling that orange. My man Antoine, let's see you getting his on Thursday. He's getting like that. Okay, so this is how your Twitter is going to look. And again, if I want to go back to um, Facebook, bang, now I'm back on Facebook. And we're doing the damn thing on Facebook. Okay, so that's how your Facebook and that's how your Twitter is going to look. Or we can just exit out of both of those. Bang. Next, let's take it over to TikTok. Now, I'm going to have to lower the volume real quick. All right, let's see what's going down in the world of TikTok. This is definitely Manhattan right here. Okay, nice Gucci hat. Everybody outside, I like that. Okay, my man with the Steve Harvey suit. Okay, that's definitely the Steve Harvey jacket right there. Okay. Okay, backless bras. Okay, hey. Now, check this out. Now, this is they taking these uh, flaming hot Cheetos to the next level. <laughs> Bro, why why he why he just slapped the like <laughs> That's so hot. Yo, the, the Cheeto's so hot. Look, 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 it's so hot he just slapped Shorty like yeah, look at it. <laughs> Yo, bro. I understand. It's hot though. I understand. It'd be like that sometime. Alright, so we let's see. We got the cops on the subway. Let's see. If they doing anything. Alright, they they could be breaking balls. I don't know. Maybe they breaking balls or maybe not. Let's see. Um let's see. Or maybe about to start dancing. It looked like they breaking balls. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but, but, but it looked like it do look like he wanted to smoke though. That cop looked like he ready for the smoke though. <laughs> you could tell this cop from the hood right here. He, he basically said, "What are those?" He looked like he roasting. He, he might be roasting. It looked like he roasting. Uh, what, what's going on here? It's a, it's a lot to unpack in this video right here. What is going on here? What is going on here? It looked like the cop roasting though. It looked like that cop roasting him up out the train station. But I don't know. I don't know what the dialogue is. But whatever's going on, that cop definitely wants all of the smoke. <laughs> right. 
you can clearly see the cop is about that activity. All right, let's see. Uh, you know, this, this kid, he, he getting ready to learn. Bro, bro finna to learn. I'm, now, look, I'm already invested into this video. I need to know what happens. Let's see. Uh, it's some, it's some, uh, right, some Spanish activities going on. All right, so we could have rock, we could have rocked this without the sound anyway. All right, dude, dude playing with fire. He getting ready. To, right, you, you know, you you, you ask and you will receive. All right, you keep playing around. Ask and you will receive. All right, let's see. Um, we got the baby right here. I right, know it's little baby, little baby. I don't know what's up with this uh, yarn sweatshirt. It is what it is. I look. I, I'm not a fashion connoisseur these days, but y'all, y'all, how y'all, y'all rocking these yarn sweatshirts? Hey, d do your thing. I right, do your thing. Anyway, so this is how your Twitter's gonna look. You get the idea. Why, why my son got his um <laughs> pants up that high, bro? Come on, bro. No one is doing that. No one is doing that. Anyway, all right. So that's how your um TikTok is gonna look. A cute little little turtle right there. All right. And of course, let's take it over to Instagram. She was going down on the gram. Okay, let's see who this um Waka Flocka. Okay, now this is a family show, so we you know we gotta keep it keep it rated PG thirteen. Okay, politics I skip immediately. Okay, let's see um who this Pinky out here still looking fine. Okay, I uh, you know put on a couple of pounds, but hey you know it, yeah we all put on a few pounds. Okay, Americans. Uh, why got the got ex extendo clip on the duck on the on the duck hunt? Remember playing duck hunt back in the days? I don't know about the extendo on that, but hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying, hey, we all put in a couple of pounds in our older years, so you know. All right, now this is a family show. 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 All right, let's see. Anything else? I know. Okay, 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 okay. So it's a, it's, a, it's a lot. There's a lot going on on Instagram. But that's why this is my favorite app. <laughs> this, is my, this is my favorite app. This is my favorite app. Okay, anyway, this is how your Instagram is going to look. Let's keep it moving. RDA, regular daily activities. This is stuff that you're going to do on a regular basis. No issues at all. Let's kind of wrap this up. Overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, all right, I'm giving the Realme GT2 Pro a major, major, major go. And at 600 bucks. As Bob Barker would say, the price is right. You're going to have to hold this phone in your hand for yourself to, to really appreciate this thin paper, paper light construction. I love it. Okay, I'm usually more of the heavy duty, glass back, big boy Android phones kind of feeling kind of guy. <laughs> kind of feeling kind of guy. That's more, that's more the kind of phones that I like. But this one, this will be the perfect phone to have as your secondary phone. Oh, I digress. I almost forgot one more thing. See, I, I keep forgetting. Let's talk about thought protection. All right, let's talk about thought protection real quick. Look, here's my Facebook. Y'all see me on Facebook all day. All right, y'all see me on the gram. Let's take it to something spicy. Y'all see spicy activities on the gram. All right, let's see, let's go to Twitter. There's my Twitter, right? Now watch this. I'm gonna close the phone, and this time I'm gonna open it up using a different fingerprint. Watch this. I call this my thought print. You see how it just changed? You see how the background just changed? All right, so now we're just putting the code real quick. Now watch this. Let's go to Facebook. Okay, no Facebook. Let's go to Twitter. No Twitter. Let's go to Instagram. No Instagram. Go to TikTok. No TikTok. Okay? This is your thought protection. Let's go to gallery. No photos taken. Now, I can leave my phone on the table like this. Somebody will pick it up and be like, oh, let me see what this scumbag is doing on Instagram. Oh, nothing. He don't even got Instagram. Okay? He's not even on Instagram like that. He's not on Twitter like that. Fully thought protected. Now, I can keep opening it up using that same print. And this is my clone phone. But now, when I'm ready to go back to my phone, I'm going to use my regular fingerprint. And voila, back to Instagram, okay? <laughs> back to the spicy activities, exit out of that. Let's go back to Facebook, there's Facebook. Let's go to gallery, okay? All of my pictures and videos that I took in the gallery. And of course, Twitter, there's my Twitter. 
That is what you call thought protection. I'll do that one more time. Let's try it with a different fingerprint. Oh, I did my face unlock too fast. Okay. That was my thought print. And look how fast it switches over. Back to the no Instagram. Okay. Now use the regular fingerprint. Uh, shoes. <laughs> use a regular fingerprint. And there it is. All right, now I'm going to have to edit that part out. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, this phone is a major, major, major go. I love the build quality. The camera's pretty dope. I love playing around with the microscope camera. Shoes, look at this. The point-and-shoot photos look amazing. Okay? Dual stereo speakers, 65 watt fast charging. This is a beast. All right, if you could grab this phone for 600 and under, I would highly recommend it. Anyway, Realme GT2 Pro, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spot to the beam up, me and shoes. All right, shoes, let's get up out of here. Energize. I want everybody to subscribe to Flossy Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossy Carter, we know you Flossy. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money may all day, the one and only. Flossy Carter, you part of the money team.